Hey everybody, it's me again, and I'm here with a, a few things. Um, yeah, I'm sitting on my bed. <laughs> this is another one of those videos. But yeah, I'm sitting on my bed. And I figured today I would unbox this doll. Because I'm technically supposed to be at work right now. And everybody who, and if you don't know by now, I work at Walmart. And I'm technically supposed to be at work. But I called out today because I need a break. <laughs> don't we all need a break? I need a break. So, here I am. So I'm going to be opening up this Walmart Special Edition Teresa Shopping Times Teresa. And give you a few updates on some of the dolls that I've unboxed and so forth. <clears throat> um, this, uh, and of course you see my fidget cube here. Which we do now have these at Walmart. I got mine the other day. And I like it so much better than the fidget spinner. Because the fidget spinner, you can't really do with only one hand. And it's pretty distracting. But this, you can just keep in your hand and fidget with it. And, you know, you even roll it around in your hand itself. But yeah. They're playing with that. <laughs> um, sorry for any mess you might see in the background. In my room, it's a mess. I have toys and dolls everywhere, and I'm trying to organize as best as I can. But of course, this is the, the Jewel Girl Barbie with the um, Everflex waist. I can't really show you it, only one. But um, she has quickly become one of my favorites, which is making Dentist Barbie down here very jealous, because she was previously one of my favorites. But she's, she's still one of my favorites. I mean, come on, how can you not? Love that hair. And she is wearing um, an outfit from the 8-pack fashion, um, retro fashion pack. Okay. Now this is um, Carousel Barbie. and uh, the, the KB Toy Special Edition, or Limited Edition. She's very pretty. I love this dress. Love this dress. And this was... Pretty in pink Barbie, and love her. Her hair is pretty wild. It was the 80s though. And I love her shoes, how they have the little bow on them. Yeah. And this is Denim and Lace Barbie. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice. My sinuses are draining. Y'all know how that is. Your voice will change. Only thing about this Barbie is her shoe cracked. Oh, I'm guessing it's from age. And this is a vintage Barbie, which she's actually wearing a dress that belongs to this Barbie. Which is our Fashion Avenue Barbie. But I thought this purple dress would look so much better on her. And it does. So I gave her Fashion Avenue dress to this Barbie. This vintage Barbie. And it looks so adorable. And of course, I did actually find a Kelly to um, wear the matching dress. And it was funny because she's kind of like a little strawberry blonde. A honey gold blonde, I don't know. She might have a little bit of red tinge in there. But the hairstyle for them both was, okay, was very similar. Sorry if it's blurry was very similar, so I'm like, yeah, I just have to put that that dress, the matching dress on her because of that. And then this, this was the random Barbie that I found that had the smushed face, and I fixed her up. I think I need to do a little water treatment on her leg there, so it will straighten out. But yeah. So. And it's... Whoop. Refocus. It's actually become a thing for me at night to when I get home. Um, believe it or not, you would think that I would t talk to my mom about a lot. But there's just some things that I do not want to bog her down with. I do not want to, um... 
she's got a, she's got enough going on herself. She does not need um, my problems. I tell her some of the major things that go on at work. But some of the little annoyances that bug me and stuff like that. I will actually come home at night. I will lay in my bed. And it's usually started to be this Barbie. And whatever other doll is sitting on my bed. I get them and I sit them around me. And I sit there and I just... I talk to them. <laughs> And I tell them about my day, and, um, I grab a hold of one of my, my stuffed animals over here, yeah, and I cuddle them, and, um, that's basically my therapy for the night, <laughs> which is awesome because I don't have to pay them, so very cheap, love it. And they don't judge you. So, love that too. Oof. But yeah, things at my Walmart are getting pretty crazy. We have actually lost some good people. And we're stuck with some iffy people. And then we're stuck with just some plain bad people at work. That have no business d being there. Um, you know how it is. I, r I really do miss some of the good people, though, that have left. I'm, I mean, I miss them, but they've moved on to better jobs, and I'm happy for them. I really am. Um, it's just, you kind of miss the good people because... You're tired of picking up the other people's slack. That and plus, our last cute guy that worked in the back room, um, he left not long ago, and he did not tell us that his last about his last day until the day before his last day, and unfortunately, I was not working his last day, and I keep missing him when he actually does come by work to see everybody and it makes me really upset because he was the last cute guy there and he was awesome he knew i mean of course everybody there knows that i'm gay and there's two other um well they're bisexual there's two other bisexual guys back there but of course you know and he would joke around with us. We called him our little dancer. <laughs> he has a girlfriend and everything. It, it's, he tells his girlfriend everything. And it's hilarious. I'm sure she probably gets a good kick out of it. But. Um, I, I miss him. He was awesome. But he got a better job. Can't blame him for that. It, it sucks. This is why I really don't like getting attached to people in the workplace. Because you get attached to them and then they leave. <laughs> and you're just like, oh no. Oh, sorry. And then the other day, um, the other two LGBT members... Of uh, the cap team two of Walmart were actually um, all for the day, so I was the only one left, only one for two days, two days, and I was like, "How the world did I actually used to do this?" Be uh, because it was like a good year or so that I was back there being the only LGBT member on cap team two. And, um, I'm like, how in the world did I do this? Because I was a complete and total, um, I don't know if I can say this, but I was a complete and total, uh, B-I-T-C-H for those two days. I was, um... Very ill, especially the second day, because I was very tired from the first day, still. Uh, have y'all... Oh, I hate when they do this. 
the little tie in the hair and I can't get it out without like messing up the hair. Okay, there we go. And I was a really I was a I was really ill. And really I <laughs> uh let's just say it was I'm just going to say it. it was the second day without them was the day of resting bitch face. But when you work at Walmart, you learn to fake it till you make it. So when I was by myself, resting bitch face. As soon as a customer approached, hello, how are you today? Can I help you find anything? Yeah, that. The 10 foot rule. If you work at Walmart, if you've ever worked at Walmart, you know the 10 foot rule. And most likely, you probably still smile at random strangers in Walmarts if you've ever worked for Walmart, thanks to that brainwashing of the 10 foot rule. Oh, her hair is so soft. Okay, I'm talking about this girl and she's not even on camera. And I love, okay, another thing about the Teresa and, and on the back, she has cutouts that you can, you know, put into her little bag. I'm probably not going to do that, but this is a reason for me to keep the box because of those. Oh crap, I forgot the shoes. Oh, I'm um, here. The shoes are just the Oh, they're little they little sneakers. Okay, they're little blue sneakers and you can't really see them. Yeah, there we go. They're little blue sneakers. I'll I'll put Oh No, not Carousel Barbie. Not her pretty pretty dress. I need to do something with her hair though. Okay. But here she is. This is shopping fun Teresa and apparently she's going to Walmart. I don't know how much fun you can have in a Walmart. Oh, well, actually I can. I used to have loads of fun at Walmart when I did not work there. But now I work there, and Walmart is no longer fun. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I love Teresa. I love her face mold. And her, her dress is a velvety material. And this shirt, which I'm hoping is two pieces. Yeah, it, it's, it's two pieces. I can tell by the Velcro because this has got Velcro and that's got Velcro. So it's two pieces. That's awesome. She has the standard bend and click knees. Straight arms. She lost her bag. Um, white pearl studs. Yeah. I love how they actually do have a pearl-like finish. It goes with the pearl. No, those are, yeah, metallic buttons. That's a neat touch. You see, you just don't get this kind of quality with the older ones. She even has a metallic plastic um, plastic belt button. These are actually metal, I think. Because they're cold like metal. I don't know. It just looks like I'm rubbing her boobs, <laughs> which is weird. But she has really pretty makeup. Well, it's more simplized makeup, which is really pretty, but she always has those luscious red lips, which I love. I mean, I wouldn't mind if they started making Barbies with this body again, but I do I love and appreciate this body style, and I love the made-to-move and the jointed bodies of Barbie. I think maybe if they started doing a collector line with the 80s style of body, that would be cool. You know, just for the nostalgia purposes. Or maybe if they just kept doing um, anniversary or re-release dolls, you know, like nostalgia dolls. Like they did the Totally Hair and the um, Peaches and Cream, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. If they if they did more of those, that would be cool. Just so people can have more of the Barbie that they love from their childhood. And the Barbie that we are coming to re-appreciate because of the falling quality of the newer fashionistas. 
I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I'm still going to buy some of those new fashionistas that come out. Just because I love their idea, but uh, their bodies, I'm not I, I'm I'm preparing myself to be disappointed by the the body constructions, honestly. But I'm hoping for the best. Hoping for the best. But yeah. As you can see, I have not put any of the gems on her outfit. Because if I do, I'm going to end up having to super glue them or hot glue them on. Because I do not want those suckers coming off. If I put them on, they're not coming off. They're staying there forever. And ever and ever. Yeah, this is me doing my little finger thing. <laughs> but yeah. So, this is... Shopping times fun, Teresa, and she's going to Walmart, and she's going to see what interesting people she can find. You know, like that couple that always comes in to steal stuff, and you know they do it because they always leave with nothing. Or that couple that always brings that little bratty kid in every day, and he pitches a fit. Or that one couple that comes in wearing cat ears and collars and a cat tail. You know, the regular, the usuals. <laughs> oh my goodness. Walmart people, can, can I imagine? Can you just imagine? Of course you can imagine because they have YouTube videos dedicated to Walmart people. I should link one of those videos in the it, below. That would be hilarious. Be like, this is my life. No, okay, no, no. I'm okay. Her right here with her little bag. I won't tell you about this dream. Okay. I wanted to call out of work the other day, but I waited until today because I wanted the three days off in a row. Because I'm off tomorrow. I was, I was off Monday, I was supposed to work today, and then I'd be off Wednesday. I don't like that. I like to have my days off together, but I, they just stopped doing that. I don't know why. Um, we had a really, really bad day one day. And it's all because they will no longer let us pull freight to the floor until 9 o'clock. We get off at 11 and so that only leaves us two hours to pull maybe a 24, anywhere up to almost a 3,000 piece truck of pallets and carts to the floor. And usually it's only about two or three, maybe four people. If our other supervisor is there, he'll have us all pulling freight to the floor to try to get it done. And we also have to clean the back room. As well, and we have to reset the back room to get to for it to be ready for third and first shift. Now, this pulling at nine o'clock is really holding us back because usually we, if we usually we would pull at seven o'clock. We pull at seven o'clock. Everything will be on the floor by nine o'clock, hopefully, and two people would stay back probably to clean the back room. And the rest of them would shoot over to grocery and then they would help finish up grocery if they could. But with 9 o'clock, this pulling, only being able to pull at 9 o'clock, we're only, we're not, we're not able to do that because that means we're pulling freight and we're cleaning the back rooms up until 11 o'clock when we have to leave because we cannot have overtime. Um... I had, and it was really bad. It was really bad the other night. And the our supervisors are really stressed out. And they are human. Sometimes they take it out on us. It's we're, They're human. But still, when it does get old. So, I had a nightmare one night. After a bad day the other day. And it was, imagine like a music video for like a rave or club club rave scene and there's just 
strobe light. It's pitch black, and all you can see is like strobe lights and spotlights and glow sticks and stuff like that. Imagine that, but in a dungeon-like setting. A back room of Walmart that's cold, wet, dripping, dungeon, complete darkness, and the only thing you can really see is spotlights shining on, like, pallets and carts. And our supervisor, one of our supervisors, running around screaming at us to hurry up, to move faster, to keep going, and... Me and two of my other co-workers, we try to leave, but every time we try to leave, we get sucked back in, and the next thing you know, I'm pushing a cart of mayonnaise to the floor. But I never, we never even make it to the floor. I don't even know where we were pushing it, because I can't see where we were going. We were just pushing it for infinity, and every time we tried to leave, we were sucked back in. It was quite awful. It was hell it was actually hell i'm like that would be what my hell would be right there and i wanted to call out the next day the next day we had one person call out and the other person quit and i was just like wow 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 but yeah, so I've been dealing with that, and that's also another reason why I called out. Because sometimes I know when it calls, when it comes to work, it's about the money. It is you need the money, but sometimes you need to choose yourself over the money. Sometimes you have to, because if I was to keep going. And not have some kind of a break. Then I would eventually just have a mental breakdown. I would pass out or something. Something would happen and it would not be pretty. And then I would be no good to anyone. So sometimes you have to choose yourself over money. And that's what I did today. I chose myself over money. And that is my little rant and my little bit of wisdom. <laughs> wow. Okay, this this went from a Barbie video to a rant about work. I am sorry, y'all. I am so sorry. Uh, I did not expect it to take that kind of turn. But it did. And there you are. No, I should show y'all some of my clothes. Okay. We have to wear white and khakis or navy blue. If you are actually interested, because at the end of the day, from working at Walmart, I mean, you go into Walmart and you think Walmart's this clean, neat, little organized place. No, it's crazy. It's, it's chaos. And by the end of the day, every day, I walk out of that place looking like I just cleaned a chimney. A chimney. Chimney. Chim chimney? Yeah. Seriously. Really. I can show you some of my pants that are stained with soot. I can show you some of my supposed to be white shirts, which are now gray. You cannot wash Walmart away. You cannot. Once you have Walmart on you, it stays with you forever. <laughs> I have clothes that have been ruined from just working there. And I can't even get some of the mystery stains out. I don't know what they are. But I still wear them to work anyways because if I wear anything new or good to work, it's just going to get ruined by the end of the day. So yeah. Okay, enough about work. Enough about work. Um, update on something I don't know if y'all know I have a good name good friend on Facebook named Joey and he is a doll artist and he 
created the line First Love Dolls he and Mary Magpie and um, a few other lines. And he does this himself out of home and stuff like that. I ordered two of his two two of his new vinyl head first love dolls. And I'm so excited to get them. I'm so excited. They should be coming in soon, I hope. Maybe within the next week or two. And I will definitely do a box opening video and review of them. And I will link y'all in that video. I will link y'all to his YouTube, for one. And his Facebook fan page. And... I'll ask him if maybe if he wants me to link y'all to his actual Facebook. He might not want to for privacy reasons. I understand that. But he is a really, really, I almost said cute. <laughs> he is a really, really cool guy. He is cute too. Very handsome guy. But he is really cool. And if you message him on Facebook, he may not get to it right away. He is a very, very, very busy person. You just have to have patience. Usually the most creative and awesome people I know, especially that do doll work and doll art, um, they are usually very busy. And they don't always reply right away. Sometimes it could be weeks. You just have to have patience. They will get to you when they can. But okay, enough of this rant. This video has gone on longer than I really thought it would. So, um, thank you all for watching. I will try to make the, the lighting quality on this video a little better than my last. Because I know it was really orange. I know. But, um, thank you all for watching. Bye.